Minister Stephen Lecce, um, he's, he's, he was packing heat during the press conference. Take a look at this. Yeah. Melanie, you saw that video on my Twitter. It's out there. Uh, it's getting a lot of a lot of heat, shall we say, on on Twitter, <laughs> and and rightfully so, so. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's very impressive. I was like, dude, who is this guy? Why have I not been into politics all this time? Uh, the Order of Canada Medal. Where where do you keep it? By the way, I'm wondering where, where do you hang such a thing. Uh, it's not hanging actually. I'm just looking oh. over. It's in a, a drawer in the kitchen. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> next to the cutlery or <laughs> <laughs> no, just, you know, it's, it's, I don't know why it ended up there and I, I don't know why I, I never hung it up. I should think about that. I don't think any underwear could house that. Don't you tuck it or something like, <laughs> don't you like try to do something with it? So it's not yeah. just out there on display. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't or, know, Chris, you're the one with the dick. What do you do with it? I Listen, I don't have a dick like that, so I don't know what to do with a dick like that. <laughs> Shit. You know what I would do, Melanie, if I had a dick like that? You know what I would do? It would be out. It would just be out all the time. Just, hey, how's it going, everyone? Just walk in. Hello. Yes. That's my dick right there. I own that thing. This is the, uh, the big uh, show of the inauguration. You know, Jeff, and there was a lot of those artists that you've probably met or interviewed or hung out with or everything. I see uh, Bon Jovi, uh, Bruce Springsteen. I started thinking about MAGA and QAnon and, and what kind of music those guys must listen to. Uh, and I'm like, wait a second. They probably listen to a lot of Bon Jovi. <laughs> it, must, it must suck. It must suck to have your favorite artists think you're a piece of shit, no? <laughs> Come with me on this journey for a second, gentlemen. Like, what if Donald Trump showed up after Inauguration Day tomorrow in a general's outfit, started calling himself the Colonel? You know, what if he showed up and he had a shadow cabinet of ministers and former military advisors? Like, what What if? What if? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, even though a lot of people talk shit about Limp Bizkit, like... Wrestling influenced a lot of people's music tastes, and it made me like Limp Bizkit. Dude, I love Creed because of wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> you love Creed. Oh, I would never have yes. <laughs> like if you if you watch wrestling, chances are you're into Creed. You're into Puddle of Mud. This is where you like, guys are yeah. getting me fucking off the wagon uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking criminal guys. I was yeah, I'm into this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like oh fucking Creed. No, I'm out. <laughs> no, as a as a media scholar, the one thing I don't do is watch television. Yeah, there you go. Because <laughs> you learned, you learned what it's Just all about. Podcast for your mind. But yeah, yeah, it's like working at a hot dog plant and finding out what's in the hot dogs. You're like, I don't know about that. Some friends who were into wrestling on the schoolyard, but they didn't talk to girls, and they always wore sweatpants. And I was kind of like, all right, I'm not. Sounds like black kind of people. They was... sound cool. I actually wouldn't mind hanging with them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sweatpants with rubber boots when it was rainy. So I was like, eh, I don't know. And, and I just, I just never got into it. And and I think maybe the, maybe the only cross section between sex and wrestling that I ever had as a youth was in seventh grade, where my buddy stole a porno tape from his other buddies older brother or something and we had it at our sleepover party we had the porno tape and we were going to watch it and what was it called the bushwhackers <laughs> <laughs> not to be confused with the bushwhackers the classic duo who i do know i do recognize mm -hmm. the bushwhackers either, that... either way it was a tag team you know what i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone had a nickname and the radio station felt like a clubhouse you know and everyone's blown a doobie in the parking lot you know it's i mean i mean i never really i mean i caught maybe a bit of the tail end of that but I think, you know, nicknames are, are still fun. I, still <laughs> I had one back in uh, the early 90s. Did you? Because the original bear out of Edmonton, Alberta, 103.3 the bear. It's been so long. Uh, we had bear-like names. There was Sled Dog Michaels and there was... Oh, like, yeah, I love that. I love that. Grizzly Woods, which I shortened to Grizz and, and, and morphed to Griswold, which I found more appealing. Right. And, and, and there was Smokey Samuels, who Eric Samuels, who ran the station. It was yeah. goofy, but it was, to your point, it was fun. It was like a clubhouse. We were a gang.
Yeah. Yes. I, I like the fact that we use our real names though now, so that when you do write a book, you're not uh, the dirty duker was got a book out. It, you're, <laughs> it's it's yeah. your actual name. And maybe, maybe it was obvious all these years, but um, I'm, I'm the biggest hip fan, dude. I really am. You know, all Ooh. those times in Kingston, you know, that, uh, you know, side stage, backstage, charity dinners, whatever you guys were there, one or all of you or whatever. I just played it cool the whole time. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan. And let me demonstrate. Actually, I got to pull this out of a pull this out of the plastic. This is uh, the uh, the blue record. Tragically hip self-titled. Oh, there he is right there. Look at that guy. Look at him. Looks very angry. He looks. Yeah, such a surly look on there. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't know how to play it. <laughs> and I saw this in mint condition, and I had to have it, and that's one of my rarities. If you look behind me here, this is a poster. Oh, yeah. The Fillmore 2002. And also, I've got a ton of other stuff, but this is just the stuff that was handy today. This is... A single on vinyl and it's uh blow it high dough but it's promotional only not for sale oh i, I think, remember that yeah you remember that i don't mm -hmm. know that's that like a radio think, station issue or yeah i think it was the only time we ever did it i think it was to kind of like tease it or something oh, okay. uh, before releasing it interesting but, uh, well i it, do remember not for sale. I got it. I got it Brian, at Brian's record option. So <laughs> it eventually oh, okay. ended up for sale. <laughs> great, great spot, Brian. 